Oh Lord, what's this dumb hippie bought now? What on earth made me buy this? Oh my God, anyway, here we go again. The last time I held a bow, I can tell you the exact date, it was the 24th of August, 1963, because it was my birthday and I was six, and I got one for my birthday present. And it was one of those bows with the rubber suckers on the arrows. So I promptly went out into the shed, took the rubber suckers off, got my dad's chisel, sharpened the shafts, and then I shot all the soft furnishings and my mum's cherry tree. I had a ball. And when I went to bed that night, the bow and arrows were right next to my bed. And when I woke up in the morning, they weren't there. It's one of life's mysteries, never saw them again. Anyway, 60 years on, and the hippies bought another bow. For you archers, this video is going to be a freaking train wreck because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to go outside now, I'm going to measure up a range. I have no idea what distance I should be shooting at. It's just a 20 pound bow. And I've already broken a cardinal rule because when I got the bow, I suddenly realized that, uh, you see, I'm, I'm one of those weirdos who've got very, very long arms. With the arrows that were supplied with this, I can't get a full draw on it because they're just too short. So I bought some longer arrows and I am now overdrawing this bow. So what is likely to happen is that the bow will break in three pieces. I'll end up in a pile on the floor with an arrow up my ass. Now it's either going to be amusing it will certainly be humiliating and it might even end up with blood. So I'll set the cameras up outside and let's have a bit of a laugh. Do not do this at home and get someone to teach you what to do because you're just about to see every rule in the book broken. 10 metres is too short, isn't it? Thirteen and a half metres to here. That'll do. Okay, so we're at 13 and a half meters, which is around, what, 40 foot, something like that. And here we go. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but a friend of mine did give me some tips. And the first tip was grip, bow grip. I'll talk about that in a minute. Second tip was not showing your knuckles on that hand. Here we go with a 29 inch arrow, 29 inch arrow, overdrawn. Successful in some ways and not in others. They're going in all right. Metal tips, these. I'm not quitting until I get some shots that I can call halfway decent. So, Hood's the name, Robin Hood, or Dickhead, whichever you prefer, under the circumstances. Right, grip, knuckles, draw, aim, release. Am I too close at 13 metres? It looks like a long way to me. Or just because I'm not used to it. Yeah, 54 bucks for the bow. I didn't want to spend a lot because I didn't know whether I'd even enjoy it. But I can tell you, I'm having a ball. I'm absolutely loving this. I can feel it across my shoulders already. But in a good way. I was going to need to uh, do some careful weight training again. I bet when I review the footage, I'm going to look at my stance and my form and I'll probably never pick this up again. <laughs> There's so much to remember. <clears throat> I 
It's going to be quite a long video, I think, because I'm not exactly... Not exactly a quick loader. <laughs> Have you seen that Lars Anderson? Jeez, the guy who's got the record for most arrows through a keyhole. Watch that guy. You'll never want to pick up a bow again. Unless you're like me, in which case you think, oh, I can do that. <laughs> if I live 10 lifetimes, I may learn some of that. I'll tell you what interests me. It's not this kind of archery so much that interests me. It's the old, what is it, the Cherokees? I don't know. But the real badasses. The one guy saying that they might shoot an arrow at you from 100 yards. And you can just sidestep it. But they shoot so quick that by the time you're thinking about which way to sidestep it, there's another five arrows in the air. That's the kind of archery that interests me. Now, I don't ride a horse anymore. I feel I'm a little too old for that. But I do fancy doing that old uh, Native American archery. Them guys knew what was what. Wouldn't like to have faced them. Jeez, they were good fighters. Almost as good as me. That'll do, I think. Well, man, I'll tell you. Brother, I'm here to tell you that that is the most fun I've had in a while. That was an absolute hoot. I am hooked. I am totally addicted. And this bow, it won't have to last long because I now know I want a traditional wooden bow and traditional arrows. But that was enough to make me realize I'm gonna love this. Now, obviously I need to learn. <laughs> I need to learn the right way to do it, just for safety's sake alone, but also not to look a complete idiot. Yeah, that was 54 bucks worth of great fun. And yeah, I mean, I overdrew the bow. Not by much, I don't think, but you know, beyond its recommended limits and it seemed to uh, survive so so yeah i would recommend this i tell you what i can feel it across my shoulders you know in a good way it's a nice nice loose feeling you know i really enjoyed that it's an absolute hoot love it although i think i'm gonna need to get some finger tabs because they're a bit on the pink side and they're a bit soft i'll probably get all the gear and no idea now finger tabs leather arm guard you know everything i don't need I'll probably buy it now <laughs> see you in the next video